here, you don't have a lot of time. So how, how are you going to make this work for you? So I set up a class today called Daytime Assessment Class. Very exciting name. And what I'm going to do is make a weekly recording assignment for the whole month of March. And I'll try to do it in five minutes or less. And I'll show you how I could use my phone to complete the assignment. So I'm going to go to the create thing right here and say I'd like to create a task. We have four types of create. A unit is a collection of lesson plans. A lesson plan is obvious, but most of our teachers ignore those two things and just do tasks and assessments. And for the purpose of this uh, session, I'm focusing on that. So I want a task, which is like a homework assignment. This is something to do. An assessment is a formal test with questions and the whole nine yards. That probably doesn't mean anything to you over here. All right, so I'm going to call this weekly recording assignment. And because I don't have a lot of time and I like the minimum amount of effort on my part, right, with a maximum amount of impact for the kids, what type of task is this? Record audio. And I'm going to write, look at the board for this week's assignment. Right? I am not going to make a weekly and type this out every week. I don't have enough time. So on my board in my classroom, I'll write weekly recording assignment and I'll put a different scale or a different arpeggio or whatever it is or a different song every week. When is this due? Uh, I'm not playing with that right now. I don't have enough time. Uh, I'm not tagging the standards because my supervisor isn't looking at this, so I'm just going to keep scrolling. It's probably a good thing I'm no longer in the classroom. Uh, I'm adding this to the gradebook. If I wanted to add a rubric, I can add the rubric right here, create it right on the spot. By the way, in about two months, we'll have rubric grading so that if you add a rubric, when you click on the mark book, a rubric will pop up and you can actually grade right in the rubric. That came from a session just like this and somebody said, no rubric grader, I'm not buying it. So, oh, okay, we'll make a rubric grader. All right, so I've created my task. If I wanted to share it in Google Classroom, all I need to do is click on share it in Google Classroom and all the Google classes that are available show up. I just pick which one, it populates the stream, the kids log in one time, and it's single sign-on for them. I'm going to make this a favorite, which means I want to use this again and again and again. If I wasn't talking, I'd be finished already. But you get the idea. I created a task. I said it's in the gradebook. I made it a favorite. Now I go to the calendar. Uh, when I was teaching, we had to do, a, week, we had to do a, a plan book and hand it in every other week. And I hated doing it. I hated it more than anything because I did a Sunday night at 11 o'clock, filling in every square for the last two weeks that I taught, trying to remember what I did. And here, here if this is valuable, here you go. Um, so I made a drag and drop, drag and drop uh, plan book. So here we go, weekly recording assignment. Let's make this due tomorrow. Now Warwick doesn't know this, but Warwick is going to be my student. I'm gonna to pretend to be Warwick and I'm gonna to have to do, do all these assignments. So February 27th, uh, let's do March, click, drag, click, drag. I think that's pretty easy. I now have done five weekly recording assignments, but because I actually taught in the real world, I know that if my kids saw that, my little jerk kids would record every single one in one night. They'd be like, hey, Frankel, submit. Hey, Frankel, check it out, submit. There's nothing on the board, Frankel, submit. That's what my kids would do. <laughs> so we make them by default invisible. They're, they're hidden from the kids. All you have to do is say, make this one visible, right? Good so far? All right, so I'm gonna pretend I'm Warwick. Warwick, you were my, my student in my last class. Here's my Music First app. I'm refreshing it. And there's on here a weekly recording assignment just popped up. I'm gonna click on it. And I'm gonna look at the board and it says, sing Waltzing Matilda. I don't know the words. So how about sing Old MacDonald? That's better. I just realized I don't know the words. <laughs> All right, so I clicked on weekly recording assignment. This is the recorder interface, a red button with the possibility of adding a metronome, but the teacher, no, it's, there's no metronome marking up there, so I'm turning it off. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. There's my little recording, I see it right there. And it says submit, discard, or play. Well, I'm gonna submit, because that's the very best I'm gonna do and it uploads the recording. So uh, we have teachers that use this on a daily basis. We've got about 300,000 kids on the platform. 
they're submitting recordings every day. That's the most common use. When I go back into my class now, look what happens. Alakazam, Warwick has turned in his weekly recording assignment. And, and I'm pretty excited to hear Warwick's performance. So I'm going to open this up. Now, again, remember the bouncing iTunes icon, which makes me really upset. Uh, you don't have to download anything. It's in the grade or in the markbook. And when I click on the recording, it pops up right in the markbook. There it is. All right, and I'm going to hear it. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. I, I am, Warwick, were you a professional singer? <laughs> I, you know, 100, and I'm going to click, you should consider a life in the arts. Okay. Now, if, however, Warwick's performance was subpar and I really didn't like it, um, I can click clear submission. That came from an angry teacher uh, because it used to be that you'd have to make a new assignment for the kid and the teacher was like, that's it. I was like, okay. So we now have clear submission and it re gives the assignment out to the kid. Does that make sense? Really, really simple. You can have a year done in about five minutes of just dragging the assignment. You just have to remember on a weekly basis to do that. Thank <laughs> you.